Hello everybody, uh, Thermal Electronics Corp. Uh, today we're going to show uh, our, our new wood stove 100 watt thermoelectric generator. Uh, it's called the Rabbit Ears, uh, aka iPower Tower 2. As you can see it's two towers uh, with a um, with a, a hot side coupler. If you come in you can see inside what we've done is we've put heat sinks that penetrate the flue. It comes just as you see with a 24 inch flue with a reduced collar for the top of your wood stove. It comes with a mat. We recommend you use the mat and what this mat does is it, as you can see, it goes on the back of your stove, straddles the back of your stove and around the six inch pipe and it protects the pipe from overheating. All these components from overheating. They are all high, high temperature. They're all rated at 550 degrees uh, direct heat. So if it's touching, but all, as you can see, this is all elevated above the stove. So you'll never get that heat. Uh, it comes with a, um, a uh, eight foot umbilical cord. It goes to our PLC 100 watt board. The input from the tags comes here through here and into our uh, tag input as you can see which is the red wire and the tag ground which is our negative okay we got an R232 port for future our, um, future programming that we will offer different scenarios for your for operation this unit happens to be hooked up to a thermal couple which is set at 100 degrees Fahrenheit when this hot side goes below that, the pump will cycle five minutes on, five minutes off. And that conserves the power to the pump. Um, and when it goes above 100F, <coughs> excuse me, um, when it goes above 100F, the pump will continually circulate. The, the system comes with a 12 volt pump. It's a mag drive high efficiency pump. It's 15 watts. But typically you're looking at about six to eight watts, depending on how you plumb it. Uh, we'll determine how much power it uses. If it's a closed system, it'll produce, it'll consume a lot less power, under five watts. If it's an open system, it'll, it'll consume more power, typically about 10 watts. Uh, the unit also comes with these silicon pipes. There's three of them. The large one straddles the back of this and covers the PEX tubing. So when you get this, you have to buy el elbow PEXs and elbow and PEX tubing. And you'll see it in our other video. This goes over the sleeve and protects it from incidental heat. It's like an insulation uh, unit. And then we, ha we also supply two smaller 12 inch units that go on the bottom of this where the stove is and they basically protect the, the, the PEX as well, as well as this blanket. So there's th two, two protective uh, insulated barriers. The silicon tubing, which is rated at 500F, and the ceramic blanket, which is rated at 1000F. So you'll ne your stove surface is never 1000 degrees F. So that ceramic blanket will protect that, all, all, all the components here. So today what we're also going to show you how to fill it. We have two chambers. Each chamber holds roughly uh, about 2.86 pounds of water or 1.3 kilograms of water or 1,300 milliliters of water. This is basically 1,300 milliliters. It's not very much water. And basically how the system operates is it's got a re two reservoirs. You fill those reservoirs up. And then it's got a secondary loop heat exchanger that you feed liquid through vis-a-vis -vis the pump and a, some sort of a reservoir or a dumping station, whether it be um, 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 radiant heaters, however you want to do it to dump the heat to keep the, the, the cycle cooler, you can. You can take it and transport that heat to the other side of the room or the other side of the house in rooms that are colder, that are too far away from your wood stove. However you want to do it, it's up to you. We, we, don't, we don't tell our clients because there's just too many variables, too many different designs that people want to do. As you can see here, we have PEX tubes at the top. 
PEX tube at the bottom, and that's what you couple with your PEX uh, um, fittings to and your PEX uh, plastic tubing to, standard pack, uh, PEX tubing. What we have here are, are two, um, on each tower you'll see there's two vent plugs. They take any potential pressure that would build up in these and vent that pressure. So it's always at atmosphere, it never over pressures. Even when this water heats up, it will never over pressure because this will always uh, equalize the, the, the internal with the external temperature. And as well, these are not quite sealed. There, there, are, there is silicon pads on this, but the, this, this is not a sealed container. It is open. It will open and vent any pressure in it. As you can see, there's two plugs here. You just unscrew those plugs, and that's where you fill. That's where you fill it. And here we supply a small little funnel, and you basically take your water, and you would fill that. And you would fill it up to about this level. And the reason is, is because as this water heats up, it will expand. It will, it will go up to here. So if you fill it to here, it will expand to about here. Okay, so never overfill. If you overfill, it's not the end of the world. It, as it heats up, it'll just spill out. The water will spill out and evaporate on your stove. Okay, that's the unit. Um, they are for sale now. We already have pre-orders. So we're starting to build these pre-orders and, get, uh, and getting them out the door. Uh, one thing I want to stress is this thermocouple with a relay is an option. Okay, so we have different optionalities because we have a PLC built into this. We can create basically an automated system by using, by using this board. The option is $90 US plus the base price right now is $1054 for the base unit on our website, I believe it's $1054. Um, it will be going up in about six months. This is an introductory price we call it a COVID-19 sale. Uh, but that's what our price is right now, and it will be going up in, 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 uh, for next year. So get them while you can. We have lots of units that we're building. Um, and uh, thank you very much. Reach us at uh, techtag at rogers.com. Uh, you can see, us, see the unit at thermoelectric-generator.com, techtag.com tegpower.ca or espressomilkcooler.com. Our number is 905-252-8574. Our office number is 905-751-1362. Thank you very much.